good morning and welcome along to the review of this the new Lex Moto Riot lovely little motorcycle this one very very small and similar to other big brand bikes of a smaller size obviously we can't name the bike just going in and looking at that bike it's got a single mono shock to the rear lovely detailing on the wheels and just working around the bike that nice halo ring that does light up so this entire halo ring does light up LED lights to the front, LED indicators as well. It's got the nice small tyres on it as well. And just working down the side of the engine, very easy to maintain to get to the spark plug. Check your oil level and those triple pipes to the rear. Now on the back of this, 130 70 12 tyre, nice little disc brake to the back and that nice tail hugger with all the LED array to the rear of it. On the front of this one, another 120 70 12 tyre to the front on this one exceptional bit of rubber on these bikes as well what we're going to do we're going to click up to the second camera and we're going to get up close and personal with this riot so getting up and close and personal just looking under the back that nice single mono shock to the rear the detailing on these wheels is exceptional nice size foot pegs to this so you've got a nice bit of rubber to grip the feet four speed box as we said and then cutting in on the front just look at the detailing on these wheels absolutely superb nice halo ring to the front and those LED indicators we're just going to quick look at the dash on this and the controls so on the right hand bar you've got your start button and a push in kill switch rather than a rocker switch on this one coming across the left hand switch gear you've got the indicators to the bottom the horn a push in hazard light, your main beam, dip beam and the pass light just to the rear on this one. Onto the dashboard, the key on this, very nice size key on this. So an exceptionally big key, nice style. When you first engage the dash, coming up you've got your rev counter along the bottom, the time just above, mileage, the gear indicator will come up in that window with a hexagon on it and your miles per hour and your fuel tank flashes over to the right. You've also got the ability on this one to flick through different colours on the screen. Now I actually like the light blue on this, very very bright and very easy to see on this. Nice size fuel tank, this one at 13.5 litres. Now spec on this one, horsepower is not bad obviously being a small bike. It's got a nice size engine, seat lock is just to the underneath there as well. So we're going to cut back to the second camera now, the ride camera. We're going to take this one out and we're going to give it a run and just show you what this little bike rides like. So starting the bike up, it's got a lovely little purr to that engine. It's got a good sound to it. The gearbox on this is very, very responsive as well. So we're just going to take this one out. We're going to get some mileage on it and just show you what this ride's like. Now obviously this morning it has just rained. But even on a damp road, the riding on this is absolutely exceptional. So working through the gearbox on this one, four speed box on this. And it does pull through those gears exceptionally quick. So we're going to bring it up to speed. Obviously for the sake of ride testing mileage and this being a new bike, we are going to run it in at 40 miles per hour, which is what is stated on the Lexmoto running procedure. And it does get up to 40 miles an hour very, very quickly. And just pulling it hard in on that front brake we're going to come in and squeeze down and front brake on this works exceptionally well braking on these little riots is absolutely superb so if you are into the uh, smaller bike section or you are a woman that's got small legs or maybe a male that's got small legs ideal bike for you and it's also going to be ideal if you happen to be going away on holiday. You've got yourself a little uh, camper van. Which has one of those storage containers at the back. 
just drop the bike in the back, take it away on holiday, and then you've got something to disappear off and go and do your shopping with. So exceptionally well placed bike on this one, seat height very very good, very comfortable as well and the pillion seat is just slightly higher which makes for an excellent riding position for your pillion passenger as well. So just bringing it into the corners, exceptionally well placed on the road. Obviously we do a few riding tests to, to just show you the stability of the bike. We've done the braking on this and my other test to do is to obviously get myself on a nice flat piece of road and then just lift one hand off the bar and just see what the road holding is like. And even with one hand on the bar or even my hand on the tank it handles very very well. It's exceptionally well planted and such a superb little bike. I can see this being the uh, big bike of 2020 along with the electric version of this which is called the Cypher. Cypher is very similar in size but they are both exceptional little bikes. Now I've obviously been looking for one of these for absolutely ages in a different brand and they wanted a lot more money for the bike and then Lexmoto announced that they were going to do one of these and I absolutely fell in love when I first saw it, especially those triple pipes. Very, very similar in style on those triple pipes to uh, obviously one of the big bikes. And I'm not going to name it, but if you happen to know what the big bike is, then it does look exceptionally good from the rear. And even on the something like a single carriageway so we're going to do a little bit of a uh, long road on this one sitting at 40 mile an hour and it has got a lot of road presence especially with that nice halo ring that is lighting up the front of the bike so it does make other traffic very aware of you mirrors on this are very very good nice little round mirrors on this but there is I'd say about two thirds of my uh, road behind me it does take up a bit of the shoulder on this but it is still very, very good to see the road behind you on these little round mirrors. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go in and we're going to put some urban mileage on this one. And just have a quick run around. And just show you what it's like if you happen to be in town. Something you wanted to go shopping with or something you wanted as just your urban commute. Or just a little bit of fun at the weekends. This is such an enjoyable bike to ride. Obviously the spec on this, you can check it all up on the Lexmoto pages, lexmoto.co.uk and have a look at the bike. But it pulls through those gears and even giving it some beans from third gear up to fourth, it does pull very, very quickly through that gearbox and it does add up to speed very, very quickly. So as a daytime commute or a run around, absolutely perfect. Now I normally do my five things, which I call reach, which is rideability. Rideability on this, absolutely superb. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Economy, they reckon that this is going to do at least 75 to 80 miles to the gallon, according to the spec sheet. So economy is very, very good. Affordability. It is very, very well priced at the moment. Total price on this comes out, including your on the road fees, now it does vary from dealer to dealer, but you're looking around the £2,000 mark with your on the road fees. So affordability is very, very, very good. The comfort on this, it is absolutely exceptional. Very comfortable, knees tucked nicely under the tank and does what it says on the tin, so comfort very good. Handling, I can't fault this bike at all. Handles absolutely superbly, folds through the corners, comes up to speed very, very quickly. And they say that the average speed, or the estimated top speed on this, is around about 55 to 60. I can see, obviously, a lot of people trying to see how far they can push it. But just pushing this through the roundabouts, it does corner very, very quickly. 
beautiful little bike. So that is the review of the Lexmoto Riot. Obviously I will be doing further ride tests on this. So keep your eye on the pages for the next one due to come up. And don't forget you can check all the details out on lexmoto.co.uk. So until then, be well, ride safe, and it's a goodbye from me.